Okay, here we have a revenue word problem, and we want to maximize revenue. What does that mean? Well, they want to make the most money that they can, and we're going to use math to figure it out. And to do that, we're going to complete the square. So the store sells 3,000 Halloween themed wigs at $20 each every month. For each $1 increase in price, they would sell 100 less wigs. Okay, so what is revenue? Revenue is how much money the store is going to make. And we can get it by multiplying the price by the quantity. So the price of each wig multiplied by the quantity of wigs will give us the total revenue. Great, so what is the price? Right now, the price is $20 per wig. Okay. However, for each $1 increase in the price, and they're thinking about changing the price, so I'm going to say that if I add a 1 times an x here, and x will represent the number of $1 increases in the price. So that's going to be the price right now, 20 plus 1x. Of course, I don't, I don't need to write the one, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that I'm putting the one here because of the $1 increase in price. So we're going to multiply that by the quantity of wigs. Well, right now they're selling 3,000 wigs. It's a popular Halloween-themed wig business. And, but for each $1 increase in price, 100 less wigs are going to be sold. So I'm going to subtract 100 per each x from the 3,000. So that is the quantity of wigs, and that is the price of wigs. Okay, now what can we do? We can actually expand this. We're going to get a quadratic equation, of course. So let's FOIL first outside, inside last. 20 times 3,000 is 60,000. 20 times negative 100 is negative 2,000x. 1x times 3,000 is just 3,000x. And finally, x times negative 100x is negative 100x squared. Fantastic. Now let me just rearrange everything. I'm going to put the negative 100x squared in the front right here. Then negative 2,000x plus 3,000x is just 1,000x. And we have the 60,000. I'll leave that last. It's just a matter of preference here. Now, in order to find the price that maximizes the store's revenue, I will complete the square. Okay? So what do I do? I'm going to factor out a negative 100 here. Negative 100 x squared divided by negative 100 is just x squared. 1,000 x divided by negative 100 is negative 10 x. I'll leave some room here, and I'll leave the 60,000 outside. I'm hoping that you're somewhat familiar with completing the square. If not, you can check out some of our completing the square problems on our website. And... Um, Okay, so I'm going to take the negative 10, okay, and again, how did I get the negative 10? 1,000x divided by negative 100, negative 10x. And I need to divide the negative 10 by 2 and square it. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, negative 5 squared is 25. So I'm going to add that 25, but I'm also going to take it away, because I'm just basically adding a number out of the blue here. So to balance it, I need to take it away. Okay, so we're almost done, I guess. So we have x squared minus 10x plus 25. This negative 25 I'm going to take outside. But to take it outside, I need to multiply it by the negative 100 first. Negative 25 times negative 100 is 2,500. And the 60,000 still outside there, waiting. Okay, now... What was the purpose of adding the 25? Well, now I can factor this. x squared minus 10x plus 25 is just x minus 5 squared. You can 
you can actually confirm by trying to expand this. If you go x minus 5 times x minus 5 and expand it, you're going to get x squared minus 10x plus 25. Great. And 2500 plus 60,000 is 62,500. Fantastic. So now we have completed the square. So what does this mean? Well, the maximum revenue is 62,500. So that's the maximum revenue that they can make. And x should be equal to 5 in order for that to happen. Why is it positive 5 instead of negative 5? Well, we basically take this and switch the signal. Okay? Remember that the vertex of this, if we see it as a parabola, will be 5. So we switch this signal, comma, 6, 2, 500. And this number here will indicate that that is the maximum revenue. But what does the 5 mean? And how is it the price? Should the price be $5 per wig? No. But it will help us get the price that will maximize the revenue. Remember that the price is 20 plus 1x. So now since the x is 5, the price will be 20 times 1 times 5 is 5, 20 plus 5 is 25. So the price of each wig should be $25 for them to make the maximum amount of revenue. But you're probably thinking, well, but then they're going to sell less wigs, right? They're going to sell a lot less wigs. In fact, 500 less wigs. How can they make more money? Well, the price increase actually offsets the quantity that they lose out on because so they're going to be selling at $25 per wig they're going to be only selling actually 2500 wigs and how do I know that if I plug in a 5 here this is the quantity of wigs 3000 minus 100 times 5 is 2500 wigs and if we multiply 25 by 2500 we're going to get $62,500, which is higher, which is more money than what they were originally making with only selling 3,000 wigs at $20 each. Because with that, they were actually only making $60,000. So that's it. If they increase the price to $25 per wig, they're going to make more money. Voila.